Hey y'all, welcome back. I got a DIY today. I have this stand. Let me t twist you and look at it. I got this at um just showing you a good little bit of it. I know I don't even know how that looks because <laughs> I just moved the camera. Um I uh got this for 17 Oh, one second, y'all. Let me grab this thing so I can... Whoa, they got this on here. I got this for $17.50. Yeah, because it was $35. And um, I got it for half price. It did not have the glass to it, right? So, I um, was like, you know, I could use... I like the size of it. I did not like the color. But I like the size. And I said, I'll get glass. But the glass was going to be like $140 for four round discs, 13 inch. So, I got these. Look how thin that is. Got these from Amazon. A pack of five cost me $27. I only need four. So, that means I got one more that I could use for DIY. And I'm going to use this stain. It's like a walnut, I believe. Let me see what color this stain is. English chestnut. I got this a last two years ago when I was first redoing everything in, in the um, living room. And this is on my end tables and it was on my bar cart. Like the wood part of it, I just stained it with this. So I'm going to stain these with this. And then I'm taking my sponges and my sponge brushes because I can't spray paint. I'm here in an apartment. And I'm going to paint this in the gold to match my end tables, the coffee table. The, everything that I painted gold in there so it'll all match so like I said I'm just going to take and when I'm using these brushes like this I'll pour some of this paint well really I, from the paint I could just do it like this right and I'm just going to tap it on there now I'm not going to bore y'all with holding this uh, I mean letting y'all see me with every little step of the painting because one that takes a lot of video and two I ain't the best uh, creator I mean creative uh what's that called y'all know what i mean editor so see i'm just going to do it like this and then where i need to i'm gonna take the sponge can y'all see that wait a minute let me tilt y'all down a little bit i'm just gonna do it like this right i know the lighting ain't the best out here but i had to do it when it was shade out but i'll show y'all when i'm done and when it's all done and over with this is just a quick video just to keep you up on what i'm doing and then i'm gonna um I'm still trying to get this stuff done. Everything that I was doing, I just don't like it. So I'm starting over again. <laughs> I know. I know, y'all. I know. And my my uh, gloves, my nails keep poking through. So I'm like, you know what? I just have to clean them. After. I mean, you know, get the paint off. So I just want to get this done today. And then um, I'm going to, by, when I, uh, hopefully by t later on today, I'll get this up. But I have to pause and do my haul that I have this in the car so I'll be back with y'all shortly let me get some of this done I'm gonna sponge on what needs to be sponged on and then I can brush on what needs to be brushed and then I'll show you just how I'm just gonna put this I'll do this I'm gonna add this on as a matter of fact let me just show y'all what I'm talking about where's that little brush here you go oh y'all it's hot out here and watch me not be able to get this off Nope, I'm going to have to go get something to pop this off. But when I come back on the next thing, I'm going to show you how I'm just going to brush that stain on. And I'll probably just let it soak in because I'm going to brush it on thin so it's not too dark. And then these, I'll show you. I'll show you. I got to open that up. On the next part, I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm going to stain those and then finish this up. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm just, about, I'm just about done. I'm just going to show you how I, uh, y'all know, I told you I was tapping the paint on i'm gonna show you in one second but i wanted to show you how i just did these rounds i told i got these from amazon and it was five in a pack right now i got this uh chestnut stain that i use and it just it's just going to soak it in that's all it's doing and then i'm making sure to go around the edges because the edges will be seen and i don't even care about my hands at this point i got this hand this one covered <laughs> I done made a mess. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all this because 
seeing something like this in the, in the thrift store or at a yard sale or something, and it doesn't have the glass, doesn't mean it's not still good and that you can't use it. And it was the perfect size. The piece that I had brought prior um, is too big for where I have it at. So, I don't know. I think I might take that down to the booth and use it down there, but I will. So now, this will not stay this dark. It's going to start soaking up, but I'm going to show you um, what I, uh, where I, how I have this. So let me sit that down there. Now, let me show you. I'm going to turn, try to turn y'all around. I don't even know how. It, wait a minute, y'all. I'm getting paint all over everything. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, here we go. Here's the bottom. And you see, I got the shelves on there. I just set them on there so they could dry. I painted it up. I might have to do a second coat on this, and I know the lighting isn't the best, but I just wanted to show y'all. This piece, like I said, I paid $17, and the rounds were um, $27 because it was an odd, uh, you know, 13 inches. But again, it's not bad. It really did not. I mean, it's going to fit what I needed to do. I did my end tables in that same stain on the, uh, you know, you guys have seen them, on the uh, top, that wood rounds that I had got from Home Depot. And um, I did the same gold. My coffee table is with the same gold. So I hope that um, this comes across. If not, you, you guys will see it when I do the tour. But I'm gonna leave this out here to finish um, drying till later on this evening. And um, yeah, that's that. So, and then I'll just do dad it up when I'm done. All right, guys, thanks a lot. All right, y'all, it's so hot out here oh my goodness here's the uh thing in back of me and um i got everything on the patio pushed to the other side because i gotta finish up out here but anyway y'all will see the video i just wanted to show you how i got that like i said for 17 dollars and 50 cents the wood rounds that i did stain they were 27 and so I got a whole little thing. And I'm considering taking that last piece that I just showed y'all and putting it up here and putting a light to come down just for the first shelf. But I don't know. That might be a little dramatic and too much. But yeah. So, okay. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see y'all with the whole, if I could get that stuff. It's so hot, I'm sweating. Um, if I get this stuff in the house, if not, I'll do the whole tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.